We are on Mount Byzantio, right on the Lake Bolsena, in the Lazio part of the lake. Actually, I think the whole lake is in Lazio. But anyway, here, we can find here some quite interesting things here. Here you can see there's a dig, which you don't understand what it is, probably made by man. And going further, here we have a cave, or how do we call it, in this stone which is some kind of conglomerate. I remind that the lake of Bolsena is a volcanic crater. Let's go in. Small room. Not really big. The shape is uh, square. The roof has collapsed. And here we have another entrance. To understand why make two entrances into such a small space is already a relevant question, unless one of them has been made by grave diggers. Anyway, this entrance doesn't look original, or anyway, it is not well shaped, not symmetric. Whereas this one it's definitely better done, square with a rounded top. And now we see other things going on in this wood. These are all places that, according to various researchers, like Giovanni Feo, are pre-Etruscans, so really old stuff. They're talking about 3000 BC or something like that. Really strange that tub. What is a tub doing here? Here looks like the cave of an animal. Wow, it's partly collapsed. A tub. It's a huge block of stone. It's not tough. It's some kind of conglomerate. This resonates. It's probably one and a half meters by one and a half meters, the internal space. I would not fit in. And is this Etruscan or pre-Etruscan stuff? No, this is Stone Age stuff. 3000 BC. Feo didn't have any doubts about it. So this is the tub <coughs> on top of Mount Byzantio. These are the ancient ruins of Byzantio. Byzantio was a Roman city. But this stuff is not Roman. This is at least 3,000 before Rome, so 5,000 years ago. There's the drain here, it's still open. Here is this, the drain. 
At first sight, it reminds me of Poggio Rota. As a culture, it should be the same, I believe. It might. There's the Lake Bolsena, the Isola Martana, the town of Marta on the coast. And here, there's a steep walkway coming down, and there's a passageway where somebody put a fence and then was taken away. And here, really amazing place. There's a room full of dove coats. What a place. Amazing. Wow. Wow, here it's almost scary. Where did you take me, Sandro? What is this place? And this is the Byzantina island. No, the other was Martan Island. What is this place? What are these things? It's unbelievable. Absurd. What were these? Now we'll talk about it. And nobody speaks about this place. Theo knew it. Yes, yes, he took me here. Absurd. In this room, it's actually a double room, this is one of the arms with this dove coat. There's a swarm of bugs here who get irritated when I get close. Billions of them. There's different opinions between those who say that these were planned in your original building and those who say that they were made later. Anyway, the room has about the size of a V. You see, I start from here. Here I have a banding, which ends to the window, which is on the lake. And here, that's the entrance where I came in before. And here we have another room, basically one room and a second room. And then turning around, we have an incredible view of the lake. And the mountain here drops in a precipice. According to Giovanni Feo, my friend says, this is a very ancient construction, even pre-Etruscan, from some people who lived here in those years. And the holes, the dove coats, they're tendentially going a little bit down. They're not really horizontal. They appear to look a little bit up. I am in the second room. Here we have another cave. We are still on the Byzantia Mount. Yeah, this is that kind of conglomerate. The stone is harder than tough. 
a few couples here. And here there's another one. We are behind the tub. There appears to be some carving there, a thing coming out. And here too, this strange kind of stairway. Ah, sì, sì. Il canale di scolo. Cioè allora This seems to have been a ritual place for big animals. Animali grossi. To sacrifice them. And for the study of the bowels, which was one of the fundamental activities, the divination with the bowels. And this is a wood that is on the top of the Byzantium Mount. And it gives me the impression of a sacred wood. Because it's really nice. My friend tells me they are holy oaks, which I don't know as a tree, which doesn't grow in my area. But it has some feeling of holy. It's a real nice wood.